Welcome to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. She was once lieutenant governor. She once ran for governor. And now she is trying to provide healthy and abundant food for families in Monmouth and Ocean County. Please welcome Kim Guadano, former lieutenant governor of New Jersey and CEO of Fulfill. Congratulations on the new position. Thank you, Larry. It's great to be here. Thank great to be back. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Uh, tell me what Fulfill is. Well, Fulfill used to be the food bank of Monmouth and Ocean County. So we feed about 136,000 what we call food insecure people every year. About 50,000 of them are children. Our job is to make sure not only that people get the food they need to survive in Monmouth and Ocean County, but also the skills they need to get off the food bank line altogether. So instead of calling it the food bank, we call it Fulfill because we want to fulfill the needs of the people who are food insecure. There was no stigma with food bank, was there? Did you feel there was? Oh no, not at all, not at all. I think, I think uh, people, if they needed food, knew that they could come to the food bank. They still can come to the food bank. We serve about 280 different pantries, shelters, um, and uh, soup kitchens throughout the two counties. Um, and those are the same as they were before we changed our names. Yeah, you gave the numbers and it sounds like there's a need. Is there enough of a supply? Do you have any trouble getting the food? Well, we always have trouble getting food. Um, anybody who wants to donate, I'm really happy if they want to just pick up the phone or, or go online and do fulfillnj.org and donate food or funding because um, we often have to purchase our food. It's really hard at times, and I think we should talk about this in a minute. Um, it's hard to, to get good quality protein, in other words, meat or fish for our um, needy families or our neighbors, I like to call them, because it's really one in ten of us in Monmouth and Ocean County that are hungry every day and it's almost you know it's unacceptable I'm a parent I have three kids it's unacceptable that a child in the counties as rich as Monmouth and Ocean counties are goes to bed at night hungry and so we can always use more food we can always use donations we can always you know use some cash to to buy some decent quality food for um, our neighbors quite frankly we can talk about it right now you do have a new initiative to provide fish, fish products yes. for, for the people that need food in the two counties. I know it sounds kind of odd, but most people don't know that New Jersey is, one of the largest industries in New Jersey is commercial fishing. Um, and those commercial fishermen go out every day, uh, bring in a load of fish, and some of that fish is not what they're fishing for the day, or it's not the right kind of fish for whatever the season is, um, and they throw that fish back. Uh, we want to capture, we want to catch that fish, and feed it to the people in, New in Monmouth and Ocean County who can use it, use it the most, quite frankly. And it's the only one of its kind in the country in terms of a nonprofit volunteer organization. It's a process. It goes from um, the dock where the fishermen come and offload the catch that they don't want. They call it bycatch, catch that they don't want. Um, it goes to a processing plant where it's processed like any other kind of fish. And then we pick it up and distribute it to our soup kitchens and our food pantries. It's a great idea. Uh, do you have, you must have some confidence that it's going to work. Too. It's already working. It's already working. We did a soft launch in August because we were concerned. You know, are people ready to eat fresh fish and, and the fish is frozen, but it's caught fresh and processed? Um, are they going to like the recipes? Are they going to be used to eating um, this kind of fish? Because like I said, most food insecure people don't get protein at all. When you say um, it's already working, the, the reason I was a, a little skeptical is because there's so many stages, there's so many people involved that have to help out. And it all starts with fishermen being willing to keep fish that they're not going to be able to sell. Well, you know, it was their idea. It was their idea. A couple years ago, um, they captured about a thousand pounds of tuna. This is the story I was told. And it was right before Thanksgiving. Now, what do you eat at Thanksgiving? Turkey. Turkey. Nobody eats tuna. So they threw pounds of tuna away. And that's when someone said, wait a minute, there's got to be a way to capture this and give it to people that would otherwise not have not just turkey, nothing at Thanksgiving. And th therein lies the birth of what's, what's called American Gleaned Seafood. That's the organization that came to us and said, we would really like to try this process, um, picking up the, f the catch that the fishermen, the commercial fishermen don't want, processing in it, and then having Monmouth and Ocean County Fulfill distributed out. And we started it with a grant from Tyson's Foods um, this summer. 
and it's working. People, the reports back from the soup kitchens and the pantries are, send us more because they like it. The people that are being served by the soup kitchens like it, it tastes good. Um, we provide them with recipes through our chefs to make it sure that it does taste good and, and is something that they want to eat. Um, and I'm told that there's a demand now, then it's going to just get more. If, if we hope to take it nationwide. Oh, no, it's a wonderful idea. There's so many benefits. There's social benefits. There's health oh. benefits. There's humanitarian benefits. Uh, let's make sure we give everybody credit. You said Tyson Foods. You said Glean. You, you talked about the fishermen. Are we leaving anybody out? Sure we are. We, the, it, you couldn't do this unless you had a processor, somebody who processed the fish in a way that was safe and compliant with all the federal and local regulations. So we have Trinity out of Lakewood. So we go from American Gleaned, the commercial fishermen, the American Gleaned Seafood out of Lavalette, and Trinity out of Lakewood to Fulfill out of Neptune and Tom's River. Congratulations. It's difficult getting all of those entities together for a good cause, so it, it's wonderful that's going to work out. Well, I think the fishermen don't like to throw fish away. Yeah. They don't like to see it wasted. So now, instead of throwing it away, they'll give it to us, we'll process it, and use it for, for good things. Give me the uh, phone numbers and the, address, and the website address one more time. They can fulfillnj.org. Um, if you go on fulfillnj.org, you can donate not just to this program, but we have a huge number of programs that um, help people get off the line. So we have a culinary school, we do taxes, we sign you up for health insurance, we sign you up for food stamps or a SNAP, um, and we provide resources to families. So not only do, do they have the ability to get off the food bank line, but they can be self-sustaining. It's a, it's a great, great organization. Well, that's wonderful. Congratulations on the new position. Congratulations on the new endeavor. And congratulations on the success of this program. Uh, we only have one minute left. Are you going to run uh, for governor again? Here it's coming. Never say never. Never say never. But right now, I'm, I'm fulfilled by being the president of the Monmouth and Ocean County Food Bank now called Fulfill. Are you, uh, you know, as a Republican, you're looking at Trenton now. It seems like there's infighting in the Democratic Party. Are really? You, are you enjoying it? I'm not paying any attention <laughs> to that. You know, the beautiful part about being where I am right now, f food insecurity is not Republican or Democrat. Food That's insecurity true. is all of us and our, our families and our neighbors and our neighborhood. So I don't have to, I, I don't have to ask if you're a Republican or a Democrat. I just need to be sure that I need, I have the resources I need in order to feed those 136,000 people in Monmouth and Ocean County who will go to bed tonight not knowing where their next meal is coming from. Thank you very much. I Thank appreciate you, you Thanks, coming in. Always good to see you. Kim Guadano, former Lieutenant Governor of New Jersey and President <laughs> of Fulfill. Jersey Matters continues right after this. Still to come on Jersey Matters, we'll tell you about a rock concert that's going to happen in New Jersey soon like no other, and it's all for a great cause. That's when we come right back.